Boko, located in Benue State, Nigeria, has gained recognition for its substantial production of tomatoes, pepper, and other perishable crops. However, the women engaged in this agricultural sector confront persistent challenges characterized by post-harvest losses, attributed to a dual predicament, that is, insufficient market demand and a scarcity of sustainable preservation techniques. Despite their dedicated efforts in cultivating and harvesting tomatoes, these women encounter significant setbacks in realizing the full potential of their agricultural endeavors. The lack of consistent market demand leaves them contending with surplus produce, often resulting in wastage and aggravating economic hardship. Compounded by inadequate preservation method, the perishable nature of tomatoes further intensifies the issue, leading to substantial losses in their agricultural output. The situation of these women is made worse by the impact of climate change that is rippling through the agricultural landscape, affecting the very livelihoods of smallholder farmers particularly. A stark reality revealed in a report by the Nigerian Stored Product Research Institute indicated a staggering 50% annual post-harvest loss, amounting to a staggering 3.5 trillion naira economic cost to the agricultural sector. To truly understand the challenges faced by women smallholder farmers, Women Environmental Program WEP conducted a need assessment. The findings were insufficient storage facilities, limited access to drying and processing technologies, and a lack of knowledge in post-harvest management techniques were among the hardest faced. <laughs> Faced with these challenges, the Women Environmental Program WEP, took action through the F5 Tech for Good project. They secured funding to empower women smallholders with the tools to combat climate change impact on agriculture. The F5 Tech for Good project is about building the capacity of uh, women farmers in Boko Benue State to adapt the practice of organic farming and uh, also about the prevention of post-harvest losses that they incur in the local government. The intervention measures are comprehensive and targeted. The first step, awareness and training programs. The Women Environmental Program trained 100 women smallholder farmers on climate resilient agricultural practices. And the second step was the construction of the solar dryer tents for improved post harvest management. Knowledge now becomes power as women farmers learn about climate smart agriculture, organic fertilizer production, and the use of natural pesticides. The training component of this project focuses on training the farmers on sustainable agricultural practices. Uh, during the training, uh, farmers were taught different kinds of agri uh, uh, sustainable agricultural practices ranging from production of organic uh, fertilizer using neem seeds and neem leaves to composting to several other sustainable agricultural practices. But the cornerstone of this initiative lies in the construction and installation of solar dryer tents. Tents powered by clean and renewable solar energy will revolutionize the way crops are dried, reducing dependency on traditional, unreliable sun drying methods.
the ripple effect of this project goes beyond individual farms. It aims to create a wave of change, promoting knowledge sharing experiences and success stories with other communities. For Women Environmental Program, our mission is clear to reduce the impact of climate change and to limit post-harvest losses through this innovative technology. Nashio season ya tomato ne ka nge ku akan na ha masashe o ya o sure ku ashe o ten samba ten chi nyale kikra hidega na ha solar drying tent o women environmental program vive se mi higene ado se kishije sa se yo pa church we yanga ke jumela na ha se lo ne za yo church ku nga wasine pa hegen be ba nge Women environmental program First and foremost, my mission is to commission the solar dryer tent that has been installed in this community. But why did we come here? One is for economic purposes, for the women who are engaged in tomato and pepper farming activities which during post-harvest there are a lot of losses and so we felt that there was the need to address these post-harvest losses but also the impact of climate change on the community so yes aside from the post-harvest losses we also look at the issues of technology using the solar dryer tent because this is not the usual solar that you know this is quite different from the solar dryers that people know this is like a greenhouse where you can dry everything including pepper tomato okra and every other perishable crops that can be packaged this is very hygienic uh, this is um, also during off season this can be used for reselling and therefore bringing in economic benefits to the women the solar dryer tent technology is more than just a tool it is a lifeline for smallholder women farmers in nigeria by reducing post-harvest losses these women can increase their income by selling higher quality crops at better prices the project that has been launched, which is um, solar uh, drying tents, will go a long way in improving food security. Africa is already food insecure. We know that uh, women take care of the families. Women are the farmers, especially the small-scale farmers. Women plant crops, including tomatoes, that are perishable. And that preservation of the perishable goods is very key. The project we have launched today will enable the farmers, men and women, but mostly the women, who are involved in perishable uh, goods farming, 
to be able to preserve the food for long. This is technology that is being uh, introduced in our communities in Africa and especially in, in Nigeria within this community to help preserve the food stuff. While you try the food, it will enable you to make savings. The women will be able to sell the food at a later time, at a cost that is almost equivalent to what they would have sold when the food was fresh. I believe it can sustain impact in terms of not just economically, but also it's very sustainable because the materials used are materials that are found in the community and this is something that can last for up to 10 years so long as it's maintained properly by the women. As the solar dryer tents rise, so does the resilience of women smallholder farmers. This initiative, funded by F5 Tech for Good through Charities Aid Foundation America, CAF America, implemented by the Women Environmental Program marks a significant step towards a future where climate change is met with innovation, where women farmers not only survive, but thrive. For you to have sat very far away and thought of my community with this kind of a project, we indeed appreciate uh, uh, that uh, laudable gesture. We appreciate what you have done, and we are promising you that uh, we will take maximum care of it, and we'll make sure that we set up committees that will take care of uh, uh, the management of the facility. We also make sure that uh, we reduce conflict to the barest minimum because we cannot say we eliminate it completely, but we reduce it to the barest minimum and ensure that we derive maximum benefit from this project. We are saying that God should bless you and give you the enablement to give us more things. In the fields of Boko, Benue State, Nigeria, a new chapter is being written. One where technology, sustainability, and community come together for a greater good. <laughs>